Ah. Fresh wipe. Yeah. Have a, have a great day, bro. You too, man. You too. But yeah, I have a plan this wipe, and that plan is to live on an ice lake. Obviously, we're going to have to head to the snow. There's one here, here, and here. And honestly, I think I'm going to go here because it doesn't look like it will be too contested. I mean, there is outpost, so that's a bit of a worry. But yeah, I'm just going to head over and we're just going to see what we can do. I really want to live on a nice lake. I haven't done it in a while. I've got a really, really cool base to do as well. In today's solo adventure, I take on the challenge of building a solo fortress on a nice lake. This would not be an easy task and would definitely put a massive target on my head. But you know me, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm going to let you watch the chaos unfold. So back to running through the fields on my way to the ice lake of choice. Ooh, nice. I'll take an extra bag. It's definitely going to be taken, right? I just have a feeling. There were so many people around here a second ago. Oh, it's not taken. <gasps> no way. Oh, but there's going to be people taking it. Okay. Uh, they're running away. Yes. Wait, I, could, I actually think the ice lake might be free. Yeah. I feared the ice lake was occupied. However, that group were just passing through, meaning the ice lake was mine. I wasted no time in gathering materials to claim it for myself. Fuck your bitch! My f- Why? Oh. Okay. Okay, we've TC'd it, which is a really good start. No way. I mean, I got a TC down, I guess, but... Oh. I may have died here, but luckily, I managed to place a tool cupboard, claiming the middle and surrounding area of the ice lake. I then spawned fresh on the beach. As we all know, the snow doesn't spawn any cloth, so this gave me the opportunity to farm some, allowing me to make myself a respawn point in my base. A bear, yes. It might kill me. I hope this thing doesn't kill me. These guys are pretty aggressive. Yes, yeah, stay there. It's bugged. No way. That is insane. Oh no. Oh, that is the smoothest execution ever. Hey, we have a furnace going as well. Nice. The sooner we can get a metal door down, the better. And I guess, to be honest, I'm just going to try and focus on a tier one. Oh. You know what? Every little helps. Getting a tier one would be vital in order to continue progressing. So I headed towards the outskirts of Airfield to hopefully achieve this. Hazmat, that is awesome. I love that. Okay, I feel like that is my neighbour. I don't know why. I have a feeling. I really have a feeling. I missed. Or maybe it isn't my neighbour. That could be my neighbour. Oh no. Please don't be my neighbour. Please don't be my neighbour. It's my neighbour. Okay. Hello. 
After building here, I hadn't seen any activity from my neighbour until now, and seeing that he had a crossbow, I knew I needed to keep up with him, otherwise I could be in for a difficult time. I grabbed some of the components I'd gathered and recycled in the safety of outpost. I really need to stay on the same page as that guy, and now that he has a crossbow, I'm definitely going to be going to recycle outpost to try and get myself a crossbow and also a tier 1. Bro, you will die to outpost. What are you doing? <laughs> you silly boy. Yo, man. What kind of man? You're such a liar, man. Metal door down. Nice. Okay, 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 okay. I wasn't recording, I'm stupid, whatever. All I did was expand the base and he's just shot out of the foundation. I'm I'm not having that, bro. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. That's toxic. That's so toxic. I mean, if this guy wants to be toxic, I'm all... <laughs> no, I'm not talking to this guy. This guy, no, no. I I'll show you what I did, and then he shot it out. <laughs> wow, this guy is going to be a problem guy's gonna be a real problem. My neighbour and I didn't get off on the right foot. I continued doing what I was doing, hopefully ignoring him. You can't do that again now. Perfect. And if you want to see the magic, this should work. <laughs> Let's go. An offset bunker, something that is quite a common building technique, however, it is still very overpowered. Day one was a lot about focusing on the base and steady progression, as I knew building here would definitely come with some enemies. But that is an issue to worry about later on down the line. Boom. Nice. For now, I decided it would be best to stay in my own lane. Oh my god. This is just annoying. <laughs> this is so annoying. I want my bear. Furnace pumping out metal. Oh, let's go. There we go. Awesome. With the base in a good state and my tier 1 placed, I can now craft a revolver, hopefully helping me fight larger groups. I was about to go to airfield, but someone's farming. Two people are farming. Oh, they're right here. Wow. 
Why is he trying to loot that? What? Oh, oh my god, that's why. Oh my god, they were actually loaded. This is why your mom hates you and your dad wants to kill you in your sleep. Hey, nice, nice, nice. So essentially what we've done is we've added like the entrance, I suppose you could call it. Which is here. This will be obviously the entrance. Do -do -do, all the way down here and then these triangles here is, is honeycomb so this one's honeycomb and also this one and then we copy what i did there on this side but without the i'm sorry that uh, we didn't get along okay but this is cool base we're kind of lacking on the scrap front so i think i'm gonna head to airfield finally i think we have like 20 scrap which is uh not amazing is it let's be real so yeah i'm gonna head over to airfield Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh. Are you going back to base? Oh, damn. Raid. Shadow Legends. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> As night fell, I decided to actually head into airfield to see if I could get any luck. Get off me, bro. Oh. He didn't have a torch. Where's his revy? He had like no... He had 10 scrap. No, he didn't even have any scrap though. He must have dropped... No, he dropped it 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till morning. I don't care. He had to have dropped it, right? If only I had my torch on me. There's no way he had 200 cloth, all of this with no scrap. There it is. 300! Oh my god. Oh. Just give me the revolver. There it is. Get me out of here. We made it. Oh. oh. Well, well, well. 300 scrap -a rooney Oh my god. That takes us so close to a tier 2, man. That's good, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep, I know it's a little bit weird right now. People can actually get in, but it'll be fine. Prior to expanding my base, I went out to farm the remaining scrap needed for a workbench level 2. I then placed it, and this allowed me to craft garage doors and weapons. Tier 2 means semi-automatic rifle. Sorry, bro. I just roof camped them naked.
it's out there, so it's all connected. Hopefully this will not decay. I don't think it will. Okay, I guess it's time to go on the first room of the wipe. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that's the boys. Oh my god. There's like five of them. I don't know how he saw me. What a legend. I need to run. And that is exactly why roaming on wipe day is probably not the best idea. Second day roams is uh, definitely better. But if you're solo like me, that is. Oh god. There's another. Oh, whatever. I don't want your stupid crossbows. On my way back from that small fight, I noticed a new base literally meters away from me with a wooden door. So I crafted up a Molotov and I went over to raid it. That's actually too high. Oh, that's not even going to burn in one go. I don't think. I mean, it might. Oh, it did. Okay. Oh. -ho -ho. No, a truth. Oh, what the? Really? Ah. Oh, that kind of blows, man. Kind of stinks. Oh well. The base was looking good, but like I said, I wanted to get it finished before I logged off for the night. So it was more the same, farming and PvP. Okay, <clears throat> so what we've done, we just added the gatehouse sort of stuff, and these are like respawn points, which are pretty nice. Quite like these. So you can have lockers and bedrooms in here and on the other side. To be honest, I just want to get my combat down as quick as possible because I've heard a lot of raids. Oh, my voice, bro, I'm so ill. I'm actually, I'm actually a, a thrower. I'm a thrower. <laughs> How do I actually fumble that? That's so, oh my, it's so bad. My voice, oh my voice. I mean, does that help or worsen the situation? It definitely worsens it. Oh my god. The first compound was complete. And of course, with intentions to completely take over the ice lake, I would also need to wall it in fully. But that would come later on. For now, I was happy with the base's progression. Come here, boy. Give me that booty. Oh, I smell that guy's breath from here, bro. I am. Dude, look at this run. Oh my god, the cloth is so big. I needed that. I needed that a lot. Okay. 
Yes, one step to the puzzle. Oh, I don't want a roof camp, man, but... Wait. <laughs> I can't hit him. What the fuck? Oh, my God. these little ankle biters. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm really starting to fall in love with building on this game. I usually always used to build like 2x1s, 2x2s. But ever since doing YouTube, and specifically recently in the past few months, where I've been doing all these different types of bases, it's actually made me really enjoy build, building bases. And I would love to design my own, but I think I'm just too bad at that. I don't know. <laughs> I then went on a little farming run, and you guys know Rust, nothing's ever that straightforward. What is what? It's a jackhammer guy here. I was not expecting to see a jackhammer guy. I should have put his kit on, but to be honest, I didn't want to stay there. Just got both of them. What beast? Wait, I'm actually. Need to, I'm gonna go out on this fight. Oh my god! What? Oh my god. That guy's amazing. Oh my god, I reckon that this is pretty much done. My base was now pretty much complete, which was awesome. Of course, the second compound needed doing, but like I said, that could wait. No! Uh. This now meant I could focus on PvP and add growing groups to come and online raid me, the ultimate goal for this wipe. With the green card I'd gotten earlier from abandoned cabins, I decided to run some puzzles, starting with Satellite Dish. Hey, nice.
SMG body, perfect. And that, oh, perfect, perfect. That's like the main reason I came here, was to get SMG bodies. I wanted to incorporate switches and I'm sure it's super easy but I think that's too difficult for my little solo brain. I think that'll work just fine. <laughs> to make sure this ice lake would be mine and mine only, I added TCs to prevent anyone building close. This would also help prevent compound walls from decaying when I got round to doing the second wall. What the heck? Oh, I heard someone. Oh my. Did he just not hear me building? Once finished with the externals, I went out for a room and I heard a raid in the distance, so I went to check it out. picked up a stash. <laughs> EK! What? My first AK of many. This would definitely help me later on in the wipe, but for now, I continue roaming around with the SAR. I've just hit, destroyed both of them so hard. That guy's dead. Oh, there's loads. What the f- <laughs> Yo. Just such a weird situation to be in. There's like five, four or five Revy. Look, there's so many, man. Oh my God. Yeah, them guys were uh, a decently sized group. <laughs> God. Yeah, I just saw a flashlight. Where the f Is that the same guy? Oh, I don't know. Damn, oh, I ain't got no box space. Uh, okay, let's get the junk and chuck it upstairs.
Oh, he just bolted out. He, oh, he dipped. Oh, there he is. Oh, it was just one headshot. What did he have? Shotgun, maybe? Oh, crossbow. Oh, my God. Oh. He had a clan tag. I'm not staying. Oh, there's my upkeep sorted. <laughs> yeah, I'm absolutely knackered. It's 2am. And honestly, I don't know if I'll get offline. I'm hearing a lot of raids. But I'm quite an expensive raid. So, I don't know. I feel like I might be safe. Okay, it looks like I'm not raided. To be honest, I'm really, really surprised. Not being offline was great news. I once again ran airfield and then I noticed I had a new neighbor. <laughs> I've almost just died. <laughs> oh my. Oh, he just saw me, for sure. Yep. Oh. My. Hello? Oh my god, I'm just botting out. That is so dumb, that kill. Oh my god. Look, here comes my man, the custom beamer. I still can't believe that he killed me like that, that's insane. This definitely wouldn't be the last time I saw my neighbour, but for now, he must have logged off, so again, I had the area all to myself. I then headed to Satellite Dish to see if there were any early morning grinders. Actually is a guy. He's definitely farmed up the whole place, right? Yeah, he still is. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, I knew it, man. Three sixty. That actually might not be enough. Hmm. Or it, it just is enough. I'm not sure. Do we have enough? Oh my god, we're eight scrap off, man. Eight. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I was feeling kind of cheeky, so I took the AK out for a little roam. Jeez, man. Oh. Oh my. I forget how powerful pythons are. And that was all I was going to do with the AK for now. I didn't want to lose it, as I had a feeling I'd need it for a much more serious occasion. Anyways, I did a small Arctic research base run, then headed back to Satellite, as the PvP there seemed to be quite good.
Oh, just get me out of here, bro. I don't, don't want to be here. Nice, nice, nice. I actually have two gates as well, ready for, ready for the compound, the second compound. That's so good. I don't know how I got them, can't remember, but I'm glad I got them. Right, let's chuck the python in this one. Awesome. Chuck the custom in that one. Whilst out farming stone, which I would later trade for wood to make the wooden walls, I heard a fight right outside my base, so I depoted, grabbed the AK, and went to see if I could clean up. Well, we just got a shitload of sulfur. Okay, I think that'll actually be enough. I have how many TC stack? 20k plus whatever that is. I think that'll be fine. I crafted the perfect amount. Literally the perfect amount. That is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Let's get to brewing. With the second compound now complete, it was time to focus on PvP, raids, and waiting for that elusive online raid. Did he miss two bullets? Why was he so weak? Oh my, what the? Ah! Uh uh. Okay. Oh my god. My loot in my base, thank you. <laughs> Damn, that was a very successful uh, few minutes. We've got that box and that box. Yeah, that's uh, pretty nice. <laughs> Take that to turn. Yep, it's on. Nice. We only turn that on when we're either offline or taking a little break. Okay, cool. That's on. It's not very well protected. I should have probably just placed like a 
another triangle and put like half walls around it and a, a roof on top but oh well i think it'll be fine Okay, never mind. These kids are playing like freaks. <laughs> GG. These kids are playing weird. very much. See you later. I hadn't been online raided in over eight months and I think it was about time I got one so I set up a vending machine with a few goodies inside to see if it would provoke the groups on the server. I'm online I'm solo. Broadcast. <laughs> I set up a few more beds in preparation, and then I continue to roam the map. the LR back. Oh, I say got the LR back. I mean, I just got an LR. Okay. I'm not going to be able to loot that, am I? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to loot. That sucks. I don't know where the last guy is. I need to try it maybe. I see him, I see him. Oof. Did he go down? I think he went down. Maybe. Okay, I'm leaving. Thank you for AK. Thank you. Come raid R17 Ice Lake. R17 Ice Lake. <laughs> I may have poked the bees nest. I again saw them roaming my area and I knew that if I use my AK, I could easily wipe them.
They all died. No, they didn't. Now they did. Oh my days. No way, that's so dumb. Also, I thought I would wipe them. What I didn't realize is that these guys were not a three man, but rather a five to six, meaning they had respawns everywhere and heavily outnumbered me. Although losing one AK here, I still had another, so we were chilling. With all the GP I had, I wanted to raid my neighbor's base. The only explosive I had was Satchel, so I crafted them up and headed over. See where this gets me. Another door. Ah. Garage door. No way. This guy had a garage door, however he had stone roofs, so I could get through that with satchels, praying that I would hit TC. Whilst waiting for a tiny bit more sulphur to smelt, I got into a little bit of trouble. Right, three man, I hate the LR bro, so oh, I lost my things as well. Uh oh. These guys got my LR, and although I came back with everything but the LR, I was still wanting it back, so I wasn't done with these guys just yet. Anyways, my sulfur had smelted and it was time to blow through this base. Okay, so if that's there... Is it half walled? No, it isn't. No. If that's there, I'm assuming TC's this one. Do it. Nice. What do we have? Another garage door. Okay. Oh! Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's 2k scrap. What? As you can imagine, this raid caused loads of commotion outside. I sealed up and transferred the loot upstairs as they had respawns behind the garage door that I couldn't get to, so they could easily open and transfer the loot inside. I then made sure the coast was clear and began transferring to my main base. I have no space. My neighbours had a few satchels so I took them as well as some of my own to blow through the garage door and hopefully get their bags. Yeah, another garage door. Hello, how are you? Please open the door. I mean, I opened the door for them. That's what they wanted. After the area cooled down for a minute, I then managed to transfer most of the good loot. 
And then something happened that may have started a war. Uh oh. These names would pop up again, but before this group came knocking, I had a few friendly visitors that also wanted to take me down. Uh, I think it's happening boys. Now I'm really sorry about the game audio here, OBS bugged out and it sounded like this. It's happening. Not too pleasant on the air, so unfortunately I'll have to turn down the game audio slightly. Don't worry, it eventually fixes itself. There's nothing I can do, but nevertheless, let's see if I can win this raid defense. I <laughs> should. Da 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 da. Uh oh. I think they're making a small raid base. Yeah, they are. I may need to play compound. Oh shit, they're up armored. Oh no, no, no. I had to make a play and fast. Sort of sealed. Uh, no, they're they're coming back. They got more, no. Oh, I need a wool.
Oh, there's one more. No. He's the only guy in here. He's, he's sealed in there. the last guy oh oh my god i think that's it oh i think that's it i think that's it And it seems I had won, but I didn't forget about the guys I killed with the Tommy. I'm sure they would also want to go at my base, so I sealed and prepared yet again for another potential raid defence. If you guys are watching this, thank you for the online, it was the most fun I've had in months. I noticed two of the counters trying to escape with what was left outside my walls, so I tracked them down. Luckily, I managed to catch them, depoting all of the loot. Then I had a visitor, and unbeknownst to me, I had met this guy prior to this encounter. So without knowing, I would invited an enemy into my base. This could be bad. I made the raid base a flank base for myself, then I'd use a 2C4 so I'd gotten from the raiders to do quite a miserable raid. Oh my, you can't be for real. What? And then when night fell, they came. Oh sh. Oh sh. Oh, 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 oh. Again? Standing spray is not it, boys. It's, it's turning light as well. They got this going at night time as well, it's crazy. They're there already? No.
one dead. What we play? What play? What the build up? This was quite a weird raid and it had gone really quiet because of this guy. Holy. Apparently this guy killed all six of the raiders and seemed a little sus. Regardless, we cleaned up the raid and everything was all good. Oh. Did they die to counters? What's happened? I don't understand. Bro, are you playing solo? Damn, that was a weird one. Hey, Emma. Although the raid was a little messy, I massively appreciated it. So two wins out of two. This wipe felt complete. However, there was still one group that I wanted gone, and that was the guys that took my LR. I used the rockets I had profited from the defences to raid them. Do it, boys. Oh, that stinks. Oh, that stinks. I have 15. Yeah, 15 and a bit of expo. That gets through into the 2 by one right? I think I'll be okay. can't get up, so I'm not even worried. Oh, yeah. they have an AK. I didn't even notice that. No way, we're out, we're out. Oh! Dude, surely they have something. No way. A box of metal. That's insane. They literally have nothing. Ooh. Where did I kill the purple guy? Dude, where? Uh, I'm so confused, bro. I 
he's on the raid. I'm the most confused man on planet Earth. <laughs> Where is this guy's body? <laughs> He actually got me. Oh, is this a hair? Oh, there it is. Oh my god. That confused me so much. He didn't even bother taking anything. I bought me HVs, so I guess that's going to be, uh, should be enough to break this. Dude, these guys were full kit? No way. That's insane. The kingpin, yeah. Oh my god. Damn. This was an absolutely textbook wipe. Yeah, it was the most, this is like the most perfect solo wipe. Two online raid defenses, raids, rocket raids, such like PvP. This is insane, man. Wow. Well, this is all their good loot. What I have on me now, and uh, this. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. That cools it there for the wipe, I, I think. I don't... Completed it. I've completed wipe. <laughs> My wipe was complete. From a tiny base on an ice lake to an absolute fortress, I had accomplished and experienced everything Russ has to offer. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, drop a sub and a like and help me reach 30k. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next week for another solo adventure.